Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all ye who are burdened and weary, and I will give you rest. Yeah. It is what it is. A lot of those have been coming up here lately and about burden and weary and rest. And yeah, that's me. I need that. All right. So last week was horrible, horrible. Um, we had a, a fraud that was attempted at the bank. Hundreds of people's cards had to be shut off and reissued. And people were just generally mad that it happened. Um, and of course, you just kill the messenger. Of course, that's the way it works. I'm the lady that answers the phone, so I get blasted every time. All right. So right now, I'm going to show you. I worked on this um in the evenings for a little bit i didn't get very far uh but i don't even know where my hook is that's okay but i do have both sleeves done um and this is the um uh, wrap that you know is a shirt i guess you wrap it around twice um a sleeved sleeved scarf and so i have started on the yellow i'm doing it twice as thick um and that's as far as I've got. I've got the two sleeves done, and I've gotten, I don't know, maybe 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, nine. And I've started on the 10th one. So, um, yeah. I just have to figure out how long I'm going to make it, and we'll go from there. Um, so I have those. I have that done. Just stuffing it in there. Oh, there's the hook. So I did work a little bit on this. And like I said, I'm going to join. Uh, when I get to join the other sleeve on, I'm going to have to, to decrease by five. So um, there will be some decreasing going on if I don't screw it up. Yeah. All right. Um, so I worked on that like every weekend, every evening when I got home. Um, Thursday, I didn't work on anything. I just literally ate and went to bed. I was mentally and emotionally exhausted. It was so bad. I'd been griped at so much by people. Friday, I, I did okay until I got in the car Friday and was driving to work. And a song came on uh, the radio. And <laughs> yeah, K-Love. We don't have Air One anymore. We just have K-Love. So I was listening to K-Love. And I don't even remember what the song was. But I just bawled the rest of the way to work. Some days it's emotionally tasking. To be the person that answers the phone. And when everyone is angry on the other end of that phone. Yeah. It's really taxing. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Um, I did do some sewing. Uh, let's start with the obvious. I am up to row seven. Okay. And you can see it's the fish one. I got the gray one. I don't know where I was at when I did it. This is a little cowboy one. Um, I've got the sheep one. That was four. Chicken is three. I know I've showed you those before, but I'm up to seven. I have the eighth one laid out. I just don't have it sewed together yet. So I have those done. Okay. All right. Then I uh, finished the pillow shams that goes with that. And I am super proud of them. I don't have the cam snaps on yet, but I'm going to get them that way. Um. I just have to get them for the little flap because it's a pillow and it's so long. I like to have it so that it'll snap down and I will just put a couple of cam snaps on there. But check this out. I quilted the inside right here. I did not because it's RJ. I didn't change my thread. I was going to change it to black, but the pillows are going to have this on it. It'll be black when I do the, um, what do you call it? The, comforter quilt whatever it will be black but for these i didn't feel like changing it so 
yeah, they're white. But I did do some stitching, um, some quilting. There is one small piece of batting. I found it, and I thought, oh, it'll give it a little texture and actually make it good. I didn't plan on quilting them, but stash busting. And I literally had enough to do the two pillows. And they're a little short, so it only goes over to here. Okay, but there's a stitch right here. And there's a stitch right here so it's okay and you can I mean if I can feel it it goes that far over and it goes that far over so it's almost yeah and I had enough to do both of them so I just have to put the cam snaps on these there's this one and there's this one okay and I have decided and I did this as an experiment, okay, so that when I'm quilting this, I'm going to put black in the bobbin and white in the top stitch. And the reason being is the white will be what I quilt on, and those are light colored squares, but yet the back, it won't show. <laughs> and so I haven't played with mixing up colors and bobbin thread and all of that stuff in a long time i know it's simple it's not a big deal i just haven't played with it in a while and i haven't done it in a while i've just done i i've kind of gotten over that all the fancy color things it's white black clear if i can't if i don't want it to show at all and seriously that is all i've been doing um so yeah for me to mix it up it you know means i'm actually putting some thought into this so the two shams are done seven rows are done and the eighth row is laid out so i'm getting there uh then i have two other things that i've got to get done um i have the christmas pajamas the matching christmas pajamas and Found out I bought too much of this, so I'm gonna probably make myself something with it. Um, I'm not supposed to be adding to stash, so we'll see. Uh, but these girls are smaller, so um, these are the two sisters that need to match. This is their nighty shirt. Um, got this one. This one has the sleeves in it. I just have the neck and to hem the sleeves and to hem the bottom. Uh, this one does not have the sleeves in it yet. It's still inside out. But yeah, I, once I get the sleeves in it, then I'll get the rest of it done. So those are getting there. And then I have uh, Tori's fourth challenge, um, which I am super in love with these little guys. I don't know why. I just am. So for her little thing, um, I'm going to teach her to do round circles and more importantly, I'm going to teach her to do patchwork. So, uh, yeah, these are adorable. I love these. Um, so this one and this one and this one are just two rounds that uh, two pieces of fabric that I cut round and you can tell um, which ones I did first and which ones I did later. So I started with this one and you can tell it doesn't have the whole ridge. This one right here doesn't even really, I mean it does. But it doesn't leave a ridge like a pumpkin would have. Still cute. Don't get me wrong. Very cute. Still. Matter of fact, I've got plans for this little dude. Um, so yeah, he's he's gonna have a home. Then I got a little bit better and I got a little bit tighter with it. By the time I got to this guy, <laughs> you can tell he is definitely a pumpkin. Very very tight, very, this one I'd gotten a little bit better at, this one even better, you know. So by the time I did this one, 
I like the way I tie these. So I started tying them the first. All right, all they are is rounds. Let's back up. This is round. These are cut in thirds and pieced together. Okay. Then I took um, upholstery thread that I used for my bags and I doubled it. And the way that I was tying it is I looped here, looped back here, looped here, looped back here, which makes sense, right? Because you want your thread to be on the opposite. You want them, you know, down in here so that you can tie it. So you want the thread to end on the same side, which, oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Oh, now my ear needs to pop. Ooh. Okay. So that makes sense why, and, and I saw this done. Uh, it was a, it wasn't pumpkins. Okay. So it was a pin thing that you make on your arm to look like a tomato. Yeah. And it had red thread and it wasn't wrapped as tight. And I wanted pumpkins. So I changed it up a little bit and I made pumpkins. And the way she did it, you know, she did the figure eight type, you know, so you, in other words, you come up through the bottom, pull it out, put it around here, up through the bottom, pull it out. Yeah. And so, and you were doing it crossways. Well, this one, I have literally figured out to make it really puffy, start out and just hold your thread here pull it through and loop it around. And then you're just going to keep looping it around the same way. And when you get six of them, which is what looks good. Uh, I tried a seven and it looked too crowded and too. Yeah. So, um, eight, I couldn't fit in and five looked like it needed another one. So six is what it comes out to. Um, but then when you get done and you've just looped and looped, You'll have this thread down here. You can pull on it and pull the other one and get them tight. And you can kind of manipulate with your fingers because you know which order you went in and you can pull it. And then after you get the two ends pulled, you shove the needle down through and then tie them on the same side. So yeah, it works best that way for me anyway. Okay. Not saying that it would for you, but so these little guys, um, yeah, I'm going to teach Tori how to make these because it'll be piecing together and you can actually see that some of them didn't line up perfect. Let me find that one where it's really obvious uh, right here. Okay. So there's no way to pull this over to where the join is and have it join on the top because it, yeah, it's not exactly, and I've tried, it's like, eh. And see if you pull this one over, then it's too tight on this or too far over on that. So they're not going to match perfectly, but you can come close enough. And with these, uh, the thread on there, making it bubbly, it looks really good. So these are going to go to some friends. I'm taking some up to my office and yeah. I'm going to give them away at the office. I've still got um, six. I've got the ones to do for the actual video. And I've still got one small one that is like this that I haven't sewed together. So I cut um, three small ones. The, the three that I'm getting ready to do are the three big ones like this with this design. So they're going to be pieced together, but big ones. So... Yeah, I'll have the three little ones and the three big ones that all look like this. And then I'll have one big one of each of the ones. And then I'll see how I want to cluster them or what I want to use at the office. And then I'm going to get the rest away at the office. I'm just having a lot of fun making them. They're adorable and super easy. So anyway, um, I do have to order propane for the farm and here. And, uh, yeah, I talked to RJ this morning. He's doing really good. Um, 
now that his father has a better job, money's getting a little bit better. So I'm hoping that maybe this year, Christmas, I won't have so much grocery bill to pay for him. <laughs> we will see. Um, things like the propane bill and groceries and feed bill, I've always helped him work on. So as soon as he can get to where he can do those, um, yeah, then we'll be good. So he's working on it and his dad, you know, I think part of it was, is this summer, his father figured out that RJ was paying more bills than his father was. And his father was like, what? No, I pay the bills around here. No, he didn't make enough to pay the bills. And RJ and I had always taken care of that. So yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Hopefully he'll, now that he's got a better job, hopefully it'll get a little bit better. So and they just got done with hanging season. RJ said it was the same fight with his father. Um, and he said, mom, nothing new. Uh, he literally had to walk away at one point because his father just got up. His father doesn't service anything and he doesn't think anything through. He just wants to jump on the tractor and go. Well, he hasn't serviced his tractor. So it didn't want to work right. He hasn't served the baler, so it didn't want to work right. And his answer is to go and instead of servicing the one that we have, oh, he'll just go borrow somebody else's. And it's like, no, service that one and get it running and take care of it. But he doesn't. It's always the best years that we had with hay. I serviced. I went out and did. I raked. I cut. I raked. I baled. And I hauled all of it and he didn't do any of it. And those were the best years. <laughs> Other than that, it was always a fight with him. So anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I think that's all I've got. I've got the, I'm going to um, probably tomorrow make the how to video for tourist challenge Four for making these little pumpkins. But remember, I'm going to make the, this way, but they're going to be this size. And I'll show you how to make different sizes. I'll show you how I did. Um, let's rephrase that because I'll show you how I did. And remember, this is a pin cushion um, pattern. Just kind of revamped because I don't know. I saw it and it was really cute. And I was like, oh my God, it does look great. And I was like, oh, but that could be. And so, yeah. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys remember those round pin cushions that every granny had. And they were, I want to say they were made of red felt and then wrapped with the red string. And this lady was making one and it was super cute, but I don't need a pin cushion. I have my own thing. Um, and honestly, I thought if I'm going to have a pin cushion, I'm going to have one of the wrist ones because I'm always putting pins in my mouth. But now I have my clips, so I do it a lot less. Although I found for quilting, those clips don't work at all. That's another story. That was with the things. But anyway, so I'm gonna get off of here. I am going to make the how-tos on my little favorite pumpkins. And, uh, and then if you're any kind of sewer, even if you're not, these are super cute, super. Um, start looking around your house for um, round containers. I use plates. I'll explain later. All right. So you guys have a great week. Mine has to be better than last week just because knock on wood, I don't think it could get any worse. So <laughs> that's terrible. Anyway, this weekend I'm going to do some more sewing and hopefully I think tonight I'm going to try and make that video for Tori. It's her fourth challenge. Um, She's gotten the bags done. I haven't asked her. I keep forgetting to ask her if she got the shorts done. I know she was working on it one day. And then somebody gave her um, a sewing table. And so she stopped sewing and wanted to, to set it all up. But I don't know if she got it all set up and in her little room, in her little, she wanted a little sewing corner. Um, 
And so I don't know if she got done with that and finished the shorts or yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I'm off of here. You guys have a great week and I will talk to you next week. See you on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Bye.